everybody and welcome to vlogmas day seven so as you probably have seen i was at work today i worked from 6 30 until 2 30 and now it's just after 2 30 and i'm gonna be taking the bus home but the bus doesn't come for another 20 minutes so i'm walking around a little garden that has been set up near my work and it has a bunch of christmas lights up and everything right now so i'll show you what it looks like now I actually ended up taking the bus to the grocery store and then from the grocery store I walked home now the thing is I was carrying these two bags holding them like this it was like a bicep hold the entire time it was about 10 minutes long my biceps are so sore now I'm gonna show you what I got because I'm, I want to figure out how much the total weight of these things would be I'll also do a grocery haul to show you what I got as well first I got some carrots. Uh, these were on sale. They are two pounds. So we'll add that to this total of how much these bags weigh. Two pounds. Got a bag of grapes, which according to the receipt, just over half a kilogram. I got a head of lettuce, which I would say this probably weighs about a pound. I got another pack of frozen ground turkey for my dad. It's 1.8 kilograms, so whatever that is, add it to the total. In the second bag, we have a bag of frozen vegetables, which is two kilograms, add that to the total. A bag of oats, which is 900 grams. Three containers of raspberries, which would be 18 ounces. And then two tubs of Greek yogurt for my dad. These are 750 grams each. Whatever this total was, I was carrying that like this for about 10 minutes and my biceps are so sore. The last thing I got, but I had it in my backpack so it didn't affect the weight of my bicep soreness. I got my dad some milk because he needed some. And that's the haul. Since I'm home from work a little bit earlier today, I'm going to do some chores that I have to catch up on. my lunch for tomorrow it's peanut noodles the recipe is gonna be on my Instagram and my TikTok. now I'm going to meal prep my breakfast for tomorrow so I'll do that in this video I'm gonna be making my oat flour overnight oats again so I'm going to start with a serving of oat flour which is 30 grams or a quarter cup I'm gonna add in a scoop of this ergogenics protein and greens this is vanilla flavor and then some ground flax seed I was just talking with my dad, but I added some milk to the overnight oats and now it's like a thick batter consistency and it's green because of the protein and greens, by the way. And you spread this out and you can add more or less milk depending on what you want the consistency to be like. And I'm actually gonna leave this just as is. You could add some toppings if you want, but I'm planning on having, I'll add my toppings in the morning. We had dinner and watched Survivor. Now it's almost 9 p.m. and I'm going to get ready for bed. Part of my night routine is reading before I go to sleep. I find it really helps me to relax and get sleepy. I finished the first Hunger Games book last night and I think I need to decide what I'm gonna read next. This is my current to read shelf. I have Harry Potter, I have The Hunger Games Mockingjay, and then the Divergent series, and also this book by Lauren Graham. I don't have the book Catching Fire that follows the original Hunger Games, so I'm not sure if I wanna start this one or not. I think I'm actually gonna go with this book by Lauren Graham. If you watch Gilmore Girls, you know this is the actress who plays Lorelai, and I just finished watching Gilmore Girls, so I think that this would be the perfect time to read this. 